Hi guys, it's Greg and Ryan here from DearBlogger.org. Hope you watched my last video on setting up a new WordPress blog, and I hope you've been spending a lot of time lately over at Dear Blogger. So that's where we're going to start this video. What this video is all about is showing you how to upload an ebook to your WordPress blog and then deliver it to new subscribers, and you're going to learn all that in about the next four or five minutes. So let's say you've written an ebook using Microsoft Word or OpenOffice and it's just sitting on your desktop you don't know what to do with it. You don't necessarily want to sell it because you're not sure if anyone will buy it. So what a lot, a lot of bloggers do is they give it away for free to new subscribers to their blog. This is a tremendous way of building an email list and also showing folks that you know what you're talking about whether you blog about gardening or travel or finance or something really strange or even just blogging like I do, meta blogging. So the first step is going to be able to going to be to create a free ebook download page like this one. This is on my blog again, dear blogger, and it's hidden to everyone who has not subscribed. Meaning it's not on my page tabs, it's not in my sidebar, it's not even in the search engines. If someone subscribes, they get sent this page in a follow-up message from Aweber. So let's dive right in. The process is to write the ebook which you should have already done, save as a PDF and upload to the blog. That takes place over here in my back end. So this is right behind the scenes of my download page I showed you. As you can see I have a link here to my ebook and that was actually originally uploaded in my media tab. Bam, here's my ebook. PDFs can go right into your WordPress media files. And that is a very common process. Copy the link. What I've done is paste it in here, put some nice copy in, and you get a download page. Great. Again, this is gated. It's hidden to everyone who can't, who has not subscribed. If you'd like to find it, go ahead and subscribe. So the next step is to get an account with Aweber. Now, Aweber is a great tool. They are what all the biggest bloggers use to collect subscribers, send out newsletters, deliver updates and they really provide an arsenal of tools that are great for beginners and advanced. Uh, the statistics they provide really help you get more subscribers and tweak things and we'll see in a moment how to add beautiful forms but I started Aweber on their free months trial not thinking I would continue because I was new to email marketing. Here I am six months later I average several subscribers a week and I, I love the process. I log in every day. So we're going to want to get an account with Aweber to deliver this page. To do that, click right here in my sidebar. I'll open up a new window at Aweber. If you're new, you'll need to go over to uh, Order, fill out some basic details, get your account all set up. But since I'm already a member, you can go right into my tab. So the auto response is something you create right here in Messages. Mine's very simple. Again, this is something that goes right to a new subscriber once they hit subscribe or submit. Mine contains a link. This goes to the ebook download page. It's virtually the only way of accessing it. After which, someone can right click, save as on my ebook. There it is, right there. Or they can just open it in a new tab. So this is pretty nice, right? I got an image up here. Again, if you want to test it out, feel free to subscribe. The next part is to put an Aweber form on your blog, which essentially just lets people subscribe. I, in fact, have created several, but let's look at the Aweber form creator because it's actually really fun. What they give you is a really basic design. This is what will eventually go on your blog. You can change up the text. Let's say you're a little bored by this blue, though. So you go into popular. Now we're actually going to go back to new. I'm going to grab uh, this one. Let's say you're a travel blogger. This is a really cool form that comes with a preloaded image of some money and some, some sunglasses and kind of makes you want to travel right now. You put text in. really change anything you want in Aweber's form editor. You can add links. If you don't like anything, just click right out. Say you don't like that image. 
bam, gone. Once your form is looking how you want, this one obviously would need a little more tweaking. Go to step two, name it. Go to step three, save the form. Here's where we're going to put it on the blog. So what I like doing is clicking I will install. Hit a little piece of code. All you got to do then is go to appearance, widgets. Throw it in a text widget. You can see mine right here. Very simple. Make sure to save it. And then it appears on the blog. Bam. The sidebar is a great place right above the fold to get new subscribers. You can also put the form on a landing page. So you can see I've designed a humongous form right here. This one has a purple background, different style button. I got the ebook image right in there. You'll have to make this image on your own, but AWeber lets you put it in real easily. Let's go back over to our little instructions. And folks, that's about it. Once the form's on your blog and your auto response is set to go out and your ebook is uploaded to WordPress, you can just sit back, watch the thing go out. It's basically like magic. People will download it, read it, enjoy it, post comments on your blog about it. In the meanwhile, you could be out on the croquet pitch uh, enjoying a nice glass of lemonade. And uh, this is really automation and, and passive blogging at its finest. So I hope you enjoyed the vid. I hope you post a comment here on YouTube. I hope you're spending time over at Dear Blogger. And um, again, thanks a lot for watching. Greg and Ryan, and stay tuned for more helpful videos from yours truly. Adios, folks. Have a great day.